Hello folks, this is the Guitar and Coffee Show. In this video, three different approaches to record rock guitars at home on Universal Audio, Luna and get really good results. I will share with you how to record using a microphone, cap simulation and impulse response and unison plugins. Timestamps for this video are available in the description box, so you can go back and forth to the chapters you find more useful for you. Without further ado, let's go for what we came for. Well, first things first, I have hit a session with drums and bass. What I need now is to create a new audio track where the guitar take will be recorded. So go to the track menu, new track. In the left side, you will give your track a name. I will call this track Guitar Mic L. In case you've got the API console emulation, you can select it from here, then click OK. Some tips before pressing the red button. Always record two good takes of the same part, except for solos. Later, pan one track to the left, the other to the right. Recording the same take into two different tracks will not make your guitar sound wider or fatter. The small difference and imperfections between the two takes are exactly what will make your guitar sound wider and stereo. Another thing to keep in mind is the recording levels. The meter should be around minus 12 dB, giving some headroom to the mix. Recording too loud will create clipping and undesirable distortion. Recording too quiet will reveal some bad ambience noises once you bring the volume up. So keep it in between minus 12 and minus 6 dB. Here is the most old school method to record guitar. Let's stick to a single microphone, the SM57. This mic is no brainer. It's been used for so long and in so many great albums. As well, the SM57 is inexpensive comparing to good condensers or ribbon mics. Then you should choose your unison preamp. Normally, I will use the Neve 1073 or the Avalon VT737. For this example, I will use the Neve 1073. To add the preamp, the rec function of the channel needs to be activated. Then the unison slot will be available here. In the left side is the list of unison preamps you can choose and here is the Neve 1073. I will choose my own preset as a starting point. Having the preamp on, what you need to do is to place the mic in front of the speaker, normally taking few inches of distance. Pointing the mic to the center of the cone, you will get higher frequencies, while pointing to the edge, you will get darker tones. Normally, I place the mic in the middle of the way between the center and the edge. A good trick to get a nice tone is using a looper pedal. Record a small chunk of your part and leave it on the loop. With a good headphone, move the mic to the sides, back and forth, and find the nice position with the nicest tone. Now it's time to record. This method is easier than miking up the amp. In my case, I will use the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. On the app, you can choose the cabinets, mics, rooms with different reverbs and more. The Torpedo will give you the ability to choose and combine two different mics, but not to split them in two tracks. You will also get a feature called Thicker that gives you a wider sound, but we are not taking advantage of this feature in this video. Once you choose your cabinet, mics and room, it's time to send the signal to the Apollo and add the unison preamp. This time, I will use the Avalon VT737. 
737. As I said, this setup is much easier and quicker. Most of the times, this is the way I record. Here is the easiest way to record if you have some presets to start. If you need to shape your tone from the scratch, it may take time. As the Marshall Plex Classic comes free when you purchase an Apollo interface, this is the plugin I am going to use for this example. So set it as the Unison plugin. Connect your guitar to the high Z input and you should be able to hear the tone of your guitar through this amp simulated. In case you want, you can add real pedals before the high Z input, as you do with any other amp, or use a plugin to simulate the pedal. Using plugins as pedals, you have the advantage of adjusting the tone in the later stage. With all set, let's record. Recording through all the methods and having six tracks taken, we have the luxury of picking the best on or combining them. Just wrapping this video up, on my Patreon page is available for download the complete material of this video, which includes all the presets, signal chain, amp dialing and much more. The link is down below in the description. So if you made till here, it's time to smash the like button. For more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. But for now, that's all. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive and kicking. See you.